Hey guys, so now we're getting to the what I would call the custom knives category because until now it was pretty much you know production or, or mid tag and stuff like that stuff that you can pretty much readily buy you know more or less readily buy and now it's gonna be more like the custom and uh, yeah I, I would consider all of these custom knives and you know forget about all the whole debate what's custom what's not the first one in line is my CKC Victorious CKC Kylie Harris my very good friend mentor knife making mentor from far far away and this is victorious he had two sizes this is a small one and I love this you know this is kinda like a different spin on a friction folder it is based off the friction folder it has some kind of mechanism that some might consider a lack some not it's this one is actually pretty loose because I did the, I redid the handles on this so it got a little looser some of them are actually kind of two-handed you have to slide it in and out by two hands mine is so very worn in that I can just do it with one hand but the, the you know the cause of it is actually it does slip in the you know kind of like jumps off but it was never meant as a actual locking locking folder it's just a feature you know just like a just kind of like a friction folder just to help the blade to keep in place you know it's pretty stiff it's nothing super it's smooth in a sense but it's not something that would just free freely you know spin around the pivot uh, reason why I love this super lightweight very cool big cool factor for me you know the the way it's unique it's very rare piece there's not many of them titanium liners lightweight you know you have the holes in the middle uh, in the hand in this you know in the liners simple constructions and very very high cutting performance it's a nicely grind this ABL blade so you know one of my favorite steels and you know I just love this knife and the big plus about this one is actually that it's pretty much considered you know legal folder anywhere just like just like a friction folder and it doesn't look anything like a friction folder me personally on the folding knives uh, I don't the the lack strength is not so important to me because I know how to use them how to use them safely and what I can do what I cannot do with them you know there are certain things you cannot do with things like this for example you cannot you know you cannot put any kind of force when the blade would close you can to the certain limit where you know that you know you can stop it with your finger there's also a way with this one I learned when I, I did carry this one a lot that if I actually grab you know kind of like an overhand grip like this my thumb is actually holding that that top uh, thumb set in the place so it cannot cannot kind of disengage because it's my hand is holding it and at the same time your index finger you know it's designed that it cannot close on your hand so two of these things combined actually gives me pretty st pretty rigid blade where I can even do some uh, forces where I would be you know applying force the wrong direction you know if you know what I mean but it's just nice thin very high cutting ability very useful knife for me I did the I kind of like a makeshift pocket clip on it from one of the older knives that just works perfect and I love this knife you know for me one of the like I said one of my favorite pocket knives because again I'm in New York City so sometimes I when I do care about the you know keeping the the ridiculous law which isn't really like a even well put together law this one will keep you out of trouble because it is non locking blade and uh, so just you know it's legal and it's actually I think three inches this one is or is it three and a quarter or three and a half uh, from the top of the handle it's three and a half but you know the actual limit here is four inches so that's still good beautiful knife I think very simple but still working and it's still for me it's you know a lot of uh, one very big factor for me to like the knife and actually use it uh, and enjoy using it is a one hand opener and this this one since it's so worn in it actually is a one hand opener for me one hand operation and closing and uh, I like it and <laughs> again at the same time actually without even realizing even though it's not a locking knife I can open and close and disengage the knife without having to you know put the fingers in a part of the closing blade so you know I like it a lot it's I think it's a beautiful knife and it's not something anybody can get because I think Kylie made only a couple of these but you know me personally <laughs> if you can get one I would definitely recommend it and they're they're good good knives very very good knives very very comfortable and nice to put together knives and very rare knives so hope you enjoyed it guys 
and yeah, don't cut yourself. Everybody keeps complaining that I don't say don't cut yourself. I just do this in bulk. I just upload them in once, you know, one by one, just because it would be ridiculously long, and I think people would enjoy this a little better. So yeah, remember, don't cut yourself.